Ce sont les filles de ta soeur. J'ai trois filles. L'homme et ses bébés. <rire> L'homme et ses bébés. <rire> Où sont les filles de monsieur Les filles sont en Espagne. Ce sont tes filles. Let's go! Someone commented under one of my videos the other day asking if I was still learning French. The answer is oui. Je parle anglais et... Espanol et Francais and that's all I know when I'm in the app and it's someone like telling a story or saying a sentence And they say it like super fast in French before I used to have to like replay it or like slow it down The French they just speak really fast But now I can just play it and actually like understand what they're saying And I've also been watching a couple shows on Netflix in French so that I can also just get more of a feel As to how they say certain words one of the shows I'm still Still watching right now is The Forest. It's originally in French. Obviously I have the subtitles on so I can kind of gauge what exactly each word means but it's so difficult like I'm telling you how they say things they just say it so fast it's like with me or like my parents when they speak Spanish when I have non Spanish speakers listening to my parents they're always like oh my god like your parents speak it so fast like I can't even like catch on to what words they're using but i'm trying okay we're getting there i'm trying to just like submerge myself into the french language french classes are going great from home i make sure to do it every single day anyways hey guys welcome back to my channel i am taking things slow and steady and chill today yesterday i fully like deep cleaned and reset everything so i feel really good today i woke up did an ab and arm workout but it's also so hard because this wrist of mine my left wrist is so messed up i don't even know what happened to it i guess i messed it up somehow some way and ever since then like it just hurts when i put a lot of pressure on it especially when i'm like this like on the floor doing push-ups with all my weight on my wrist i can't do it not even like the girl push-ups so it's kind of hard to get like arm workouts in without my wrist starting to feel like it's aching maybe i need to buy one of those like bands or like something to kind of like tighten around my wrist while i'm working out it's my left wrist and my right ankle <laughs> i'm pretty sure that i tore my tendon and i never went to the hospital to like get it checked or like wear any sort of anything around my ankle i just let it heal like that and so it does ache sometimes too like when I'm going out for runs where like my foot just hurts this part of my foot right here hurts like on the side of my foot right underneath my ankle I don't know if you guys remember when I had that whole accident happen where my ankle was insanely swollen and it was just really bruised and I couldn't walk on it for like a couple weeks I'm just all sorts of discombobulated so did my workouts made my protein shake I think in a bit I'm gonna head out and take 
Parley to the P-A-R-K. She's taking a nap right now under my bed. But real quickly, I do wanna thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I need therapy, you need therapy, my downstairs neighbors definitely need therapy. As much as slow self-care days help your mental health, therapy is also such an important part of feeling good throughout the day, feeling good throughout life. In the past, starting therapy it was something that I was just not interested in at all. I would offer that up as advice for other people, friends, family, and I would never take my own advice until I got to the point where I was like, I think I definitely need to be talking to someone. I tried real life in-person therapy and it just, it didn't work for me. When I heard about BetterHelp, I was like, this actually sounds like exactly what I'm looking for. Like if I could talk to a therapist through messaging, through a phone call from the comfort of my own home, have someone I can reach out to and talk to whenever, that would actually be so helpful. I'm not the type of person to go vent to my friends, my family. So starting to talk to someone that doesn't know me at all is just there to listen and give me their professional advice, that makes me feel so much better. They're not gonna just sit there and tell me what I wanna hear. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist that is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. All you have to do is go to their site or you can use my link, betterhelp.com slash estrella. You answer a few questions about what exactly you're looking for from a therapist, if you want to have your religion in common, if you want to have your race in common, if you you feel more comfortable talking to a woman or a man and better help will match you to a therapist that is right for you. One of my favorite things, like I said, is that you can talk to your therapist all from the comfort of your own home, through your phone, through your computer. You can talk via phone call, video chat, or even just through the messaging chat. However is most comfortable for you, whatever feels the easiest, you'll be matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours. So you can get started super fast. Being able to have better help narrow down the therapist to a few that might match you the best is so helpful and I also did switch therapist a couple times another thing that I love about BetterHelp is that it's so easy to switch therapist if you feel like they're just not the right match for you you don't feel super comfortable with them you can easily switch therapist at a press of a button at no additional cost I can't explain how amazing that is because to find the therapist that you just vibe with on the first try it's rare so if you've been wanting to try out therapy for yourself for a while the whole idea of it just stresses you out and you don't know where to start Check out the link down below in my description box or go to betterhelp.com slash Estrella or visit BetterHelp and choose my channel name, Melissa Estrella, and start therapy all from the comfort of your own home. And you can enjoy a special discount on your first month of BetterHelp. Do you want to go to the park? Oh, is he a sleepy girl? Are you ready? These noodles have been my obsession recently. Mm. This last time that I went to the store, the only packets that they had were the two times spicy ones. I did not care. I was like, I'm, you're coming home with me. I definitely do not put the entire sauce packet in here. Harley completely tired herself out at the park. As soon as we got back, she just like plopped on the floor. I'm pretty sure she's taking a nap. My baby has not been feeling well. She has like an upset stomach. I know she's not sick because she's still super playful. She's been drinking her water, eating her food normally. Don't tell her I told you guys because she's going to be embarrassed. I keep telling her it's nothing to be embarrassed about. 
nothing nothing's going on over here she has a pretty sensitive stomach which is why i don't usually like giving her things that she hasn't had before but this last time i went in and i got her two new treats that are like similar to what i've gotten her before and after a couple days of her trying that is when i noticed that she's not passing normal stool it's probably that that would make sense because other than that like her food's the same she's definitely doing way better today than yesterday so i'm sure she'll be fine this is the book that i've been currently reading it's actually a true story about um michelle notek if you know the story and you've heard all the crazy stuff this lady did then you know how insane it is she's literally insane she's a convicted murderer from raymond washington they lived in washington during everything that was going down it's just crazy reading it because i'm like oh my gosh like i used to live there or i've been around there or like it's just crazy when you read stories like this and it's in your state and nearby cities it just makes me think like how many other people are like this and people around them just have no idea what's going on inside their households and this is what she looks like doesn't she just look psychotic the amount of times that i've been like just reading and my jaw just dropped and it also makes me think if you guys know the whole like nature versus nurture debate whether people are born evil or if it's nurture that does it like the people that they grow up with their family their parents but reading this story really makes me think that maybe it is nature this book goes like deep into the entire story of michelle notek going back to when she was like a child Child. She didn't have the best upbringing, but at the same time, like she could have made the best of it. You know, she had people around her that were kind and loving, even from an early age. Like, she, I don't know, maybe she experienced something when she was like a toddler. I don't know. But she, even from a young age, like she was just evil, going around doing such malicious things, like bullying her own siblings, lying about her own family, her own parents, telling people that her dad abused her when he didn't she just really badly craved all this attention and she would just do the like worse things in the book it talks about how her grandma was just like that her grandma also did insane things does it have to do with genetics like if someone in your family is just evil is it just prone to happen that one of the generations there's gonna be a kid that's just born evil and she wasn't like raised by her grandma she did spend some time around her grandma after she was a little bit older but she was already doing crazy evil stuff before she was around her grandma she loved spending time with her grandma i'm pretty sure it's because both of them are freaking crazy the torture that michelle put her own kids through it just blows my mind that nobody nobody in her in her world in her life nobody put an end to it nobody went to the police nobody freaking smacked her and was like what you're doing is wrong lady who do you think you are everybody around her was just like little minions that would do everything that she said and they were all like terrified of her she also ended up torturing her own best friend 30 something year old woman this grown woman brainwashing her drugging her torturing her until she eventually killed her own best friend i think this is the first like true story that i've read i don't know reading true crime is just like a whole other level it's like hard to read sometimes i also have these that i haven't read yet and i'm so excited to read so i'm definitely stocked up once i'm done reading if you tell i have the just for the summer abby jimenez book finally last time i went into the bookstore i ended up getting another book by her because this one wasn't there and this is the one that i wanted to read originally my friend got me this one for my birthday i have the second book in the housemaids series this is the housemaid's secret first one that i read ended on a note where i'm just like i need more one of my friends got me this one if you've read this book i just know what you're thinking in your head right now this is credence by penelope douglas two of my friends have read this book and both of them were like you need to read it now i know it's gonna be insane there's some crazy scenes in this book if you know what I'm talking about. I have another cute little romance book. This is Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. I've never read anything by Tessa Bailey. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. It looks a wee bit cheesy for me. We shall see. By the time that you guys watch this video, I will be packing to leave to Puerto Rico. I have no idea what exactly I'm going to take yet. I need to plan out my outfits and everything. I really truly hate packing. It's such a chore and it's so stressful for me. Traveling as a girl that's also trying to get like content and stuff somewhere it's just it's a lot i recently got a bunch of stuff 
from Pretty Little Thing. Some of this I'm definitely going to take with me to Puerto Rico. I'm going to show you guys a few of the things that I got that I'm probably going to take with me. I got this cute little yellow top. Another little baby tee that I got is this pink one. I also got this little red baby tee. I got these shorts. Super cute. Definitely taking these because I really don't have many denim shorts. I'm going to take the best ones that I have. I really like these because they're not super short. Oh my god i'm definitely taking this with me this is gorgeous oh my god the bell sleeves it's a pretty long like maxi dress it's knitted it's completely backless the waist kind of like cuts in a little bit it's definitely see-through so i'd probably wear as like a beach cover-up or i could just get like some pasties or something that's what i need to go get i need to make a list of things that i need to get before i go i need to stop at sephora i need to get the igk color depositing hair mask and like the blackest black that they have honestly I just love the look of like dark dark hair let me know if you guys want to see a like prepping for vacation type of vlog i wasn't really planning on filming one but since there are like a few things that i need to do appointments i need to go to all that stuff i guess i could film one so let me know if you guys want to see that i also got this cute little sage green dress this one's really cute too it's just like a t-shirt casual mini dress i just know for a fact prepping for everything and packing everything is going to be hectic obviously i won't be able to put it up for you guys before i leave to puerto rico that whole week that i'm there i'm not i'm not taking my laptop i'm not editing my vlogs or the videos that I film there until I get back. So that whole week that I'm there, I'm gonna be off YouTube. So if you guys wanna see what I'm doing before I post the videos, don't forget to follow my Instagram. Link in the description box, as always. I've decided that I'm re-watching The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. I usually don't like re-watching things, especially if it's a show, just because it's like, it's so long. So even if I really, really like a show, I usually won't re-watch it, or I'll wait until like a decade has gone by to where I have like completely forgotten everything that happened in the show. Therefore, it's kind of like a new show at that point. It's like the type of horror, paranormal, thriller vibe that I like. Haunting of Hill House, I have not re-watched ever since I saw it. So this is the first time I'm re-watching it. The first episode is an hour long. Harley's looking real cozy over there. Look at her. Not a care in the freaking world. Look at her little paws. I'm gonna force her to cuddle with me at some point. the two of us. I just put my dishes in the dishwasher. So if you hear that noise in the background, that's my dishwasher. I ended up taking a nap earlier, but it was like a 30 minute nap. So I'm still sleepy. I'm using one of these Dr. Dennis Gross Ultra Gentle Daily Peels. There's the little exfoliating wipe on one side. And then step number two is the anti-aging neutralizer. It's a wipe and it has like a serum on it. I don't know exactly what it does. I just know that my skin has been loving this. So I include this step in my night routine like twice a week if you're someone that struggles with drinking water let me give you a tip if you're going out anywhere leaving your house make sure you always have a water bottle with you full of ice cold water it'll automatically just force you to drink more water and also when you're at home always have a glass full of water putting it in a cute glass drinking out of a straw are all things that make me want to drink more water throughout the day i realize that i'm drinking like so much more water than i usually would when you drink out of a straw you don't realize how much water you're actually drinking and it also just makes it more fun i don't know because just drinking out of the glass like that boring she just came over here and sat down and started staring at me I've tried doing like that cute stuff with Harley where I like take the little makeup brush and like kind of pretend that I'm doing her skincare or her makeup and she hates it. She's not a makeup skincare type of girly. There's something weird going on with this pair of socks. Let me explain because I'm losing my f***ing marbles and if anybody can explain, that would be amazing. This pair of socks I ordered from Urban Outfitters. This is the pair of socks 
online on the website this is what they look like they tie up on the back like that super cute they lace up this is the little string that comes with them okay they were already on the socks like they came with the socks already tied up with this cute little lace i threw both of these socks in the washer like a couple days ago yesterday when i was putting my laundry away and i was like oh my gosh the lace completely came off of the socks so then i was sitting there you know trying to figure out how i'm gonna lace these back up and i'm looking at the socks going through every little bit of the socks on the edge here where it's supposed to be able to somehow like the lace is supposed to go in through here somehow somewhere there's nothing there's no loops there's no little holes I swear to god I have taken a magnifying glass to this shit. no matter how much I spread the sock and I'm like looking on the edges there's just no hole like look at that there's no hole anywhere for that lace to go through. And then I was like, maybe they were just like attached on the outside and it like tore off and there's just no way I could like stitch them back on. But if you look at the photo, there's little holes that the laces go through right there. You can see the holes. There's two holes right there and one right here at the bottom. I don't understand. Like no matter how much I spread it apart, there's no stitching with a bigger hole where I'm like, okay, yeah, that's that's where it could have been looped in. There's nothing. And then also to add to the weird fact, both of these were washed. Both of them smell like laundry. They smell clean. One of them was lost when I was putting away the laundry. There was only one in the basket. And I was like, what the heck? Where did my other sock go? And I look through my dirty laundry and one of them is in there without the lace i know for a fact it was washed but it was like under piles of dirty clothes it doesn't make any sense <laughs> is this a glitch in the matrix i don't understand am i just gonna have to make little holes in the socks now and just diy this thing botanical collagen under eye serum it wasn't even that it was like set on top of my dirty laundry that's a thing like it was underneath dirty sheets dirty clothes i'm sure there's a logical reasonable explanation this has been my favorite moisturizer recently this is the belief the true cream moisturizing balm it literally is a moisturizing balm super moisturizing but not super thick or oily it also smells really good and clean it kind of has like a little bit of a citrusy smell to it dalba for a spray serum i use it so much clearly anyways that is the end of this vlog thank you guys for watching i love you guys follow my social medias everything is down below in the description box and i'll see you in my next video